Hey guys, what is up? Chris is 50 here, and I'm doing a long overdue video on the Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition Title Update 9, which now features the End Portal and, of course, the long loved Spawn Eggs. Spawn Eggs for everyone! Yeah, well, uh, this video is a little overdue. Um, I've just kind of been doing, you know, schoolwork and just family things, so. You know, I haven't been able to do it. But now I got the time. It's been about a week. A little over, actually. But better than late than never, I guess. So, to start off, we're going to go to the end. And, um, as you see, I've already been here. I've actually killed the dragon already, too. But that was just because I needed a way back for the video. And just to kind of show you something a little simple. Um, as you see here, I have a bunch of the dragon eggs. Actually, you know what? The reason um for this is because I'm going to show you how to get the dragon egg once uh you know like once you kill the dragon it will like spawn up here and then when you go like this it will of course disappear so once it once you find it whenever it disappears like as you see this one landed right here I, oh okay I did another video and I lost this one so ignore that 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 didn't happen um. But yeah, once you find it, you are going to want to dig two blocks down. You're also going to want a torch. So you're going to want to dig two blocks down, go into that hole, and then, not this very first block, but the one underneath it, you're going to want to dig, and then place the torch there. So once the torch there, you're going to want to dig out the other block, and the egg will fall, and it will land like sand would do. Uh, it touches the torch, sand and gravel, they touch the torch and they uh, fall. So I'll do it again. See there. So that's just how to get the egg. I mean, I really don't know the purpose of the eggs. Um, I, I don't, I never really found the purpose for them. Never really made sense to me. So whatever. Um, now this is the credits. I was going to let, uh, yeah, I'll let them play. I'll let them play a little bit. Um, pretty much all it really says, it's not really credits, all it says though is like, I guess you're like a mind reader, reader, and it's a little strange. So, uh, yeah, as you see, what the ender does then, is it spawns you to your last bed. I made, uh, my name out of eggs, the things you do when you're bored of making a world. So... Yeah, it spawns you in your last bed, and I slept here just about five minutes ago, so just jump down and get right on to the next thing. And actually, uh, before we do anything else, I do want to show you this cool little feature. Um, it's to change your heads up display. So you go to user interface, and you can change the heads up display, which I think is pretty cool, but it'd be better if it was just the little cross, not like the whole bottom piece, but. Oh well, you know, it's, you're gonna, you're gonna get it. Oh well, deal with it. Two is the default, and then three is really big. I don't know why you'd want to play with this. I don't know, personal preference, I guess. So I play on two, much better. The next thing is uh, you can craft nether brick. I don't want to waste the time finding it because I, like. I really never searched for it, but I know you can. You can craft a brick, just like a nether brick, uh, as this one like right here. You just gotta get some um, nether like block, I guess. <laughs> yeah, nether brick. You get this, and then you can craft this. So I mean, that's pretty cool. Nice little feature again. Um, next thing is the item frames. I really like item frames. Let's see. Let's get that back. Put this here. And there you go. Got a nice little brick in a wall. Uh, wooden buttons. Always loved them. Um, amazing, if you ask me. Uh, they're better than the stone. And the next thing is the different colored slabs now. They have the different wood, which is uh, regular. Well, oak, I guess. Spruce and then birch. And then, of course, the nether brick slabs. Same as planks, different colored, and the stairs is two, except nether brick stairs. And um, 
you know, those are just kind of the small things. One of the biggest things people want to see are, of course, the spawn eggs. So let's just get a creeper and a mushroom. So, as you see, they just you just spawn as much as you want now. So much. And what's really cool about this is when you put so much in a small little space, you can actually, um, like, bounce your way, like, 16 blocks or so like that. It's, uh, really cool. Um, I don't really know why. I guess just from the lag of all of them being there, you're able to, like, put them in a box, say, and then when you walk up to the box, it will, like, propel you forward. It's really cool, I guess. Uh, next feature is you can dispense liquids from a bucket out of a dispenser. So let's hit the button, and there you go. And then you get your bucket back like nothing ever happened. So I really like that feature as well. The next feature uh, is when you shear a sheep, they can regrow their skin back. Er, yeah, skin. Well done. They can regrow their wool back by eating grass. So as you see here, I just sheared all three of them. And now we're going to creepishly watch as they eat some grass. Eat the grass. Eat the grass. Watch. Want to eat the grass. Do it. Do it. Do it. I guess they're not hungry. Sheep are stupid. Well, we'll come back then. And, um, let's see. Another thing, actually, I did want to show you. Now, I'm not really sure if, uh, I didn't really get the count, but I believe they extended now how high you can build. I believe it was like 52 blocks regularly, but now I think it's around 75, maybe to like 100. I don't know. I didn't really get the count. I was just kind of building things because I was bored. Um, okay, so here we go. The sheep are through there. Uh, well, uh, they ate the grass here, as you can see, and then they regrew. Now, the last thing I want to show you is uh, climbable vines. Actually, you know what? That isn't the last thing. All right, so one of the last things I want to show you is climbable vines. You gotta have a block behind them, though. Otherwise, and there's no block, you just kind of fall through. Let me see if I can demonstrate that now. Uh, you kind of fall through them because you're pushing forward. See? So you gotta have a block there, otherwise you just can't climb. So let's replace those two blocks. And you can now climb all the way up. Um, some of the other things that actually I forgot to, I failed to mention. Um, they've added fire charge. They've added the stackable signs. And stackable buckets. So... I don't really know what fire charges are, other than, I mean, I know that they burn, I just really didn't know what the point of them was. Signs, this stackable signs are really coming in handy, making really big towers if you want to, don't know why you'd want to, but then when you destroy them all, you don't have to pick up one sign at a time, I've had to do that, and it was just terrible, just terrible. So, yeah, that would be good. Uh, pick water up from that. That's pretty good. Well, I believe that's all this update has to offer. If I missed anything, let me know. I'm sorry. But, uh, thank you for watching. So, please subscribe. Um, hit the like button. Share this.